Hot 97, hanging out with my sister, man, Aquafina. Hi, honey. Hey, girl. I love you. I love you. Okay, so Aquafina is a rapper. You've seen her all over YouTube. Now, Aquafina is also on Girl Code. Make sure yes. you check out the new season, which begins in June. Yes. I'm really excited about it. I'm so excited. The prom episode was so good already. I know. I loved so it. Good. Your prom was horrible when we were talking My about it. My prom was so bad. It's okay. Yeah. You need to watch Girl Code on MTV to understand why Aquafina's prom was so bad. But yeah. now we also have our new show called Girl Code Live. Live, yes. Comes out. Where's it Carly? Debuts. I know. Carly, you know, she's just on something else right now. Carly's also on the show. Shout out to Carly. August 31st is when it debuts, and yes. it's going to be awesome inside the old TRL studios. Yes. Are you excited? I am so excited. It's going to be so much. I'm really scared I'm going to like, it's live. You yeah. know that, right? Oh, I know. I'm scared I'm going to like pass out. You're not going to pass out, and if you do, it's going to be awesome. If I, if I, you'll make it funny? I'll make it funny. I'll pick you up. I will give you mouth to mouth. What if I poop at the same time that I pass out? I got out? you. I have baby wipes. All right. What do you need? I got you. And you know what? The show, we're going to have celebrities on the show. You know, there's a live band, live yes. audience, you know, pop culture, music the driven. The hot. Oh, yeah, they are. They're really Really good looking. Mm. They are. So now you have all that going on. Yes. And I wanted you to come in, Aquafina, because one, I love your energy. You're such mm -hmm. a strong woman. Thank and you. you know, it's hard on girl rappers out there. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's very hard. Yeah, it is. You just put out a book. I did. Aquafina. Oh, you have it. NYC. NYC, that's it. Join me on a voyage of gold and grime. Yes. Okay, so Aquafina, why did you want to do this book? Um, you know, I, I read a lot of tour books, um, mm -hmm. and I just feel like there's a lot of um, very general stuff out there. And when tourists come here, there there is a there's kind of a plan that they have. They go to the Empire State Building, they go to the Statue of Liberty, they go yeah. to Central Park, you know, they go to the museums. Um, I wanted to make a tour guide for people uh, like me and you who are even living here already that are like bored on a Saturday and want to do some stuff. Right. So everything in that book is like very off the beaten path. You go to Staten Island, you go to B the Bronx, the real little Italy, Flushing, the real Chinatown. There's a lot of like real New York in there. So, um, you know, I just wanted to share that with people. Yeah. And you're real New York. You're homegrown. This is who you are. So yes. you're going to give us the inside scoop more than like a yeah. tour guide. Yeah, that's the it. The basic yeah. generic guides that yeah. are out there right now. I mean, I don't suggest that all tourists, you know, come to New York City and go straight to Staten Island. I don't think that's what they should do. Right. You know, but why not? Hey, if that's what you want to do, do yeah, it. Yeah, do but it. But you're going to give them the inside scoop, which is really important because exactly. you're not generic. You've yes. never been generic. No. Okay, so... How did you not gain weight when you were eating at all these different places? Oh, I did gain weight. Where? Um, Where? It's called a fupa, Nessa. <laughs> you don't know what that is? Yeah, I know, but I don't see it. What do you mean you don't Where see it? Where is your it's fupa? It's because it's strapped in right now. I like it. I strapped it you in. You strapped in the fupa. <laughs> there, there are times where I was that I was like, "Am I pregnant? I wish I was pregnant because if I'm not pregnant, then that means I'm just fat." You went to LaGuardia High, right? Yes. Now Nicki Minaj went there. Yes. Azalea Banks went there. I was sandwiched in between Nicki Minaj and Azalea Banks. So you weren't there when they were there. I might have been there when Azalea Banks was there, but I she Nicki's must, older than us. So Nicki's Nicki's older. Yeah. I don't think I was there when she was there. Azalea Banks, I might have crossed over, but I don't remember her. I just I remember vaguely like a group of just really hot girls that were vocal majors that were younger. It's like the she had to have been. Part she of was part of that. Like I feel like the girls below me were very hot. Why I like you? What makes you so different is that you make your own beats. I do. I do with these hands. So is it because you just couldn't afford other beats? Or you're just tired of waiting <laughs> on people? Yes, it's definitely I can't afford other beats. Um, DJ Mustard um, has never returned my faxes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, honestly, I started as a beat maker. I, I started rapping to fill in my beats. Yeah. So, you know, the beat production is always going to be like my passion. You know, rapping... Right. Rapping, I'll always do. I, I think it's fun, but I really put a lot of passion into beat making. Like, I spent a lot of time doing it. Are you working on a mixtape right now? I am, a little bit, yeah. It's, Can you tell us anything about it? Um, I have one song that I released. It's a love song to Kevin Bacon, Sinbad, and Chris Christie. Mm -hmm. um, and I have another. Uh, it's going to be like kind of like a, a hometown mixtape. It's a lot about, like, Queens, where I came from and stuff. So, Who has inspired you the most? Like, your top five. It could be like rappers or it could be producers. Who's inspired you? I think um, uh, 
like my lifelong inspirations are different from who I'm just kind of in- inspired by, like on a daily basis. I think okay. um, mainly it would be probably Charles Bukowski is like my number one. Um, Chet Baker, uh, you know, Dmitry Shostakovich, who's a, a Russian composer. Um, and then rapper wise, I really like DJ Rashad. Do you know mm-hmm, who that is? Mm-hmm. He, he passed away. Um, and Necro. Do you know who Necro is? I don't know Necro. Do you know who Ill Bill is? I've heard of Ill Bill. He's Ill Bill's cousin. Oh. And I was listening to Necro since I was like 13. Like, it, he's pretty gross. Like, he's like very brash. But he he's a good rapper. You should check him out. Yeah, I am. I'm yeah. going to. And I just... I. I've always been a fan of what you do. I just think that you don't care what anyone has to say. Yeah. You know, of course, you hear critics say, oh, Aquafina is not true hip hop. Do you even care what people have to say? I mean, I, I, I totally understand the sentiment of that. You know, I think all hip hop fans have like an element of hip hop elitism in them. They want hip hop to <clears throat> remain an institution. You know what I mean? Right. They want it to remain. They don't want to see it change. Right. And, you know, to an extent, I'm that way. I don't want to see hip hop go to pop. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't want to see hip hop become Britney Spears music, you know? Right. I, I don't mind Britney Spears, but I don't want them to mix. Right. Um, and so I represent a threat to some people. I, yeah. I am a different face. You know, I'm not really rapping about the typical narrative of hip hop. I'm rapping about like queefing and yeah. like vagina and stuff like that. I say the word vagina, which is like weird. All right. So Aquafina, are you in a relationship right now? Um, yeah, I am. I've been in a relationship for a while, actually. Oh, damn. Well, listen, that's great. But right now, we need your help, okay? okay. So this is, uh, right now we're going to play a game that's themed around your book, Aquafina's okay. at NYC, which is out right now. Yes, in stores. Get Aquafina's yeah. book. I love to see women do their thing. And right now we're going to play a game called Aquafina's Single and Traveling NYC Guide, okay? Okay. So you got to look out for those who are single, whether okay. we live in New York or we're traveling to New York. Yes, got it. How do you pick up on a guy in New York? Um, how you pick up on a guy? Um, well, you got to first you got to make sure he's not with someone. Girl code. Girl code. Or Hashtag with girl, a guy. This is such a weird guy mixture. Code. It's girl code and hot 97. 97. Oh exactly. my god, so meta. <laughs> um, yeah, so make sure she he's not with a girl. Right. And make sure that if that if you accidentally catch him and he is with a girl that she doesn't look like Serena Williams or that she isn't Serena Williams. Yeah, exactly. Because then you get throat punched. Yes. Um, second, make sure that, you know, he's into women. You yeah. Know? There are a lot of good looking gay guys in the city. Absolutely. And it's really embarrassing to go up to them and be like, hey, sexy. And they're like, no. Yeah. Like, Shout out to my like, boy Kong. You're yeah. homeless. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that's another thing. So if you're in a gay bar, don't pick up too many men. Yeah. Um, just roll up and be like, hey, you know, I got a full size futon. Yeah. You know, I think you're cute. I think you're cute. You got hair plugs. <laughs> But I don't mind. Yes. Yes. And that's fine with me. Do you have a sheet over that tonight? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Where is a good first date? One that's safe for everyone. Yes. Okay. Good first date. Um, A couple of restaurants. There's one in in the neighborhood I live in called Greenpoint. Um, It's called Enid's. Mm -hmm. It's a very good, safe spot. You know, you can get a grilled cheese or whatever you eat on first. I don't know. Is that what you eat? Yeah, I, I eat. If you know, I eat grilled cheese. Girl, you know, you, you, you're, I going, eat you're going to like nice first dates. You, no, no you're way. You're on a different Fina, level of first dates. Fina. No, no, you no. Know, listen, we got to talk. You got to <laughs> save me again because I'm playing around out here. I'm eating grilled cheese like from generic spots. I so. know you're not eating grilled cheeses on, listen, on first dates. That's my that's standards are down. My standards are down. All right, whatever. Okay, that's so fine. that's a good place. Good first that's date. That's a good place. Um, a good place to go on a first date or slash pick up men. Mm-hmm. Um, a place called called Manhattan Inn, which is on Manhattan Avenue, also in, in my neighborhood of Brooklyn. <laughs> I like how it's all in here. I don't like to travel far to pick up men. I love this. Um, you know, you could always go to um, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. That's a cute first date. Who that, should yeah. pay for the first date when it comes to a New York dude? You know what? It depends on what you want to set as a standard for your relationship. You could be like, you could pay, you could go Dutch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which is what white people say as in splitting. Right. Um, if you want to be that independent, that hashtag independent woman, you could split or go Dutch. You know what I mean? You yeah. don't have to pay for him because, you know, 
he, he needs to be an independent man, independent woman. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you don't want to pay for him forever. You don't pay for him. But you pay for yourself or you just let him pay for it. Yeah. But just because you pay for it, girl code, don't, it doesn't mean you got to, you know, Put give, out. give a Dirty Sanchez later. Yeah, you, you don't. Know, it's not, <laughs> no dinner for Dirty Sanchez. We're not swapping. No Cleveland steamer. So would you say sleeping on a first date is not a good idea? You know, this is a very controversial topic for me because some. Now remember, New York guy, we're trying to pick up on a guy out here. And we want something decent with them. That's true. Also understand that New York men are out, women outnumber men in New York City. So there's like troves of us and we're all hormonal and we're all like, we all are all like foaming at the mouth. We want the D. Yeah. And all the men can just kind of stand there and be like, no, no, no. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just know that we're, that women population wise are more in New York City. So. I know for a fact that sometimes when you sleep with a guy, it he won't necessarily think that you're like, you know, a strumpet, you yeah. know, for lack of a better word. He won't, ne sometimes it works. Sometimes like the chemistry's there, you know? Sometimes it's better to wait, you know? Because- What would you say, best advice right now? To wait, some I would say wait. Wait. Get, you know, you want to give it two days. Give it two, three days. <laughs> Yo, First day, give it a couple days. Give it a couple days. I love like, you. Give it a couple days, Nessa. Uh, no, I no. like that. Yeah, Yo, you should. Just yeah. give it a couple days because you want to dangle it. You know, dangle uh, the you know your you know your your vagina. Yeah, dangle you gotta it. use it as bait nowadays. And they're like, you know, let me go. I'll go get it later. Yeah, you know. I like it. So someone who's visiting New York or maybe just moved to New York, do you think now would be the time for them to experiment with another girl? Oh. This is a girl. Like, okay. hey. If you are visiting New York, yeah, get it in. Okay, experiment with animals if you want. <laughs> Yo, I go guess. to Petland. Hey, no animals have been harmed while filming this. Okay, so go Except on. Except for that one, <laughs> he's still recuperating. <laughs> Poor fish. He's like, we're coming after you. It's like, relax. No, there's no animals here. He's right there. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Um, experiment. Get it in. Like, go to Lesbian Night at the Woods. You know what I mean? I like how you know this yes, right now. Because I ended up in there, and they're very aggressive. Yeah. And I have a deep voice. <laughs> so they think I'm one of... They come up to me, and they're like, yeah, you got that voice. And I was like, I'm not. But, yeah. but you're hot. But you're hot. But you're hot. Where are the hottest girls? Which borough has the hottest girls, in your opinion? Brooklyn. Duh. You're so biased. You're Duh. sick. You're biased. Um, my block in Brooklyn has the hottest girl. Okay, what block is that? Diamond Street. <laughs> Should I not have said that? That's literally where I live. That's awesome. Whatever, you can put it All in there. All the stalkers are going to be no out there. No one's going to stalk me. Who the fuck's going to stalk me? Hey, can I curse? You could curse. You can do whatever you want. Right. Man. Bleep. Okay, bleep. Okay, it. so which borough has the hottest guys? Oh, that's difficult. Manhattan? And parts of the Bronx, I would say, if you're looking for that. Okay, which part of the Bronx? Can you give a specific? I would say Sobro. Sobro. Okay. okay. Uh, South Bronx. I've seen, my friend used to live up there, and her whole building was just these really hot men. Like, Oof. real hot. You know? They have would, money, too? No. Oh, damn. Come on. They yeah. live in, like, really shitty apartment building. At least her apartment But building. they look good. Damn, they look good. So you could have good babies with them, but yes. they're gonna, you're going to live a hard life. Yes. <laughs> okay, I mean, so you can, you know. which borough has the most money when it comes to guys? Manhattan. Manhattan, okay. And parts of Brooklyn. So right now, Aquafina, because you're the expert. Yes. I need to find someone. I don't need it, but I want to. <laughs> I want them to look good and it's have money. All about you. I it's want them to look game. good and I want to I want them to have money. Help us, you know, help a girl out. Someone is in New York. Nessa, how, I don't this is the conversation that we have continued. I don't understand how you still need help. Come like, on. No, I mean like you're a catch. Like you need to understand that you're Thank a catch. You, man. You're Thank beautiful, you. you're Thanks. new to the city, you're smart, you're successful, like don't worry about it, you know what I mean? So I should be okay with Tinder and DMing people. You're on Tinder? No, but should I? I mean, I don't think you should go on Tinder. I think you're too big for okay, Tinder. Okay, okay, we won't do Tinder. Okay, look, maybe, I'm just okay, trying to humble Cupid. myself, man. Okay, Cupid, maybe. Okay. <laughs> or that Sugar Daddy website if you're really Sugar looking for Daddy. that. Sugar Daddy. What's that thing called? Look, I, Carl oldgrossmen.com. What's that? Carl old, sugar, old gross men. Sugar baby? Oh, old girls men with man boobs that I'll have sex with for, for money. money. Yes. That's called a prostitute. Dot net. <laughs> That's they called my get... best friend Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kong. I, I love, love you. Kong. I love you, Kong. Aquafina, so are you going to write another book? 
I don't know. Depending on how things go, because I know you're working on a mixtape, we're going to be busy filming for Girl Code. Oh my God, we're going to be so busy with that. Anything else that you're working on? Um, well, I don't know when this is going to air, but I have a show on Thursday for my book. Not, okay, where's the show at? Baby's All Right in, in Williamsburg. Okay, great. So yeah. this Thursday. This Thursday, 7 p.m. sharp. Cypher Sounds, formerly of Hot 97, yes, will be there. Yes, shout out to Cypher. Um, yeah, and uh, my boyfriend will be playing guitar for me, and there'll be a live oh, band, girl. and it'll be dope. Oh. So let me ask you something. Yeah. When he plays the guitar. Yes, he does. Do you guys, you know, have fun at home where... He's like, hey, I'm going to be the rock star right now, and you're going to be my groupie. Do you no, guys role play? Do okay, that. No, no, never mind. Okay, um, we don't role play. Well, sometimes we'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, you the chef, and I'm the eat, and I'm going to eat what you cook. <laughs> sometimes I'll yell at Everything's him. about food for us. Yeah, yo, exactly. For real. I'll, I'll buy groceries, right? Yeah. And, and some of them will be missing. Yes. So I'll go in on him for like three hours, like, why'd you eat it? Yes. And then I realize that I ate it. You are... St- I can see this too. It's hot. It's pretty he hot. He loves you. He adores you. He does. I love him too. That's so sweet. Thanks, Aquafina, Tessa. it's always an honor. Please let us know of all the projects you're doing. I'm really proud of you. Oh, I love what you're doing. I love you. I love the fact that you put out this book, Aquafina's NYC. Yes. A real gem to understand New York. Thank you. You know what I mean? Thanks, it's not yeah. your generic, hey, fun pictures and, no. you know, let's try to get this out there to try to make money. This is something from your soul, which I truly love. Everything you do is from your heart, Thanks, your music, Tessa. your beats, everything. Can't you wait. Too, though. You too, though. Work girl. with you, man. I I girl Code Live is happening. We got Girl you. Code, the actual season beginning in June, so make sure you guys check that out. 